Hi, my name is Theo again for KiboMed, and we're going to be going over some of the specific details and function on how to use our ultrasound machine, the KX2600KV. Uh, just a quick note before we get started, you can see the refresh going on in the screen. That's because this is a CRT monitor, and that's only seen through a video recording like this. In person, you will not have that type of refresh rate. So just to get started, we're going to start on the right side of the screen here and the keyboard. Uh, the first button we're looking at is our preset button. So as you can see here, we have four functions that come up when we have the preset when we hit our preset button. Uh, the first one you click on normal, and you won't always have to do these functions, is you will get uh, a screen like this. And here you select your date, the time, uh, there's a standard default as a hospital, but you can use that as your clinic name. So when you input this, it'll always be under that when you're saving your images. Um, and then there's date, time, and other settings. Next one is formula. That's specifically just for animal formulas if you're doing OB functions and calculations. You won't have to mess with these pretty much ever, but it is an option for some people and some vets that like to adjust it to their specifications or to their preferences. Another option is you can have a password set up. Um, that's basically just like a password on a computer. You can lock the machine, but it's important that you don't lose it because it's tricky if you lose it for us to come and reset that. And then finally, it's just about, that just provides our information, nothing really too interesting. Uh, back to the keyboard here, we have the next button here. This is the ultrasound probe button. It's kind of a standard image for ultrasound probes. And that just selects between your ultrasound probes. So when I hit it, it automatically switches. This is our linear probe now, which you can see over here. And then when we press it again, it goes back to our curved probe which can be seen over here, so you can see how the image screen changes. Um, moving along, next button that's probably used, going to be used by a lot of people is the comment button that's right over here. So in order to place a comment on the image, the first thing you need to do is the freeze button. So we're going to go down to the corner, the snowflake. So that's kind of a standard image that ultrasound machines use. You have the word freeze or a snowflake or something along those lines. So that means to freeze the image that you've obtained. So you always hit that first. You'll then hit your comment button, and then a little cursor like this will come up, and that's pretty standard for computers. All you have to do after that is hit set, and then you can begin typing in whatever text you want. So I'll just put test, and that's how you'll input text onto your exams or tests. Next button right underneath that is the body marker. So if you're doing an exam on horses or animals or hearts you can clearly see there's all different types of functions. This is not really used by everybody but some people like to have image markers depending on what they're imaging um, that's more of a user preference but it is available. Moving along there's two buttons here IP and IE so those are specifically related to the physics behind the ultrasound machine and we can cover those a little bit later but that's basically the IP stands for image post processing and the IE stands for image edge enhancement. And what that does, the post-processing is how the machine does some of the physics calculations with the images it obtains. And the IE is edge enhancement, how it kind of overlays and adjusts the images as well. Really, you don't have to worry about that. Some people who are very savvy with these machines like to play with those buttons, so it is available. The next two buttons that probably will be used often are going to be B mesh and M mesh. And those are just short for B measurement and M measurement. Uh, as you know, B mode, which is what we're in, is the standard image. So in order to measure, what you're going to do is hit the freeze button again, hit your B measurement button, and you come up with a cursor here, a little plus sign. And what you do is, let's say you're measuring the size of a cyst or a follicle or a liver or whatever the case would be, you set your first set point, click set, and then another aster comes up, you come across, and you'll have a distance measurement. And you can keep doing that as many follicles or as many times, as many distances, it's just an example. So it comes up in millimeters on the other side here. Now that same function is available. I'm just going to exit our B mode. Um, and we're going to go to M mode. So this would be like if you're measuring heart rate, for example. And this is just the same thing as in B mode, except in M mode. So you're going to freeze hit your measurement button and here you can select heart rate or time depending on what you're measuring, usually for cardiac settings. So you can measure heartbeats, 
uh, the amount of time it takes for valves to open and close and whatnot, it's all kind of user specific. Going back to the B mode, something I forgot to mention is when you freeze and you go back, you can also pick aside from our uh, Aside from distance, you can do things like ellipses and calc packages for OB settings, uh, so you can measure everything you really need to measure. Continuing on uh, with this section, there's all four, there's five other buttons I want to go over really quickly, and those are just different variations of the home screen. So the B mode is the standard screen that you always see. Um, when we go to, let me just switch out here, when we go to B slash B, that's a dual screen setup, so you can have an image of Let's say something prior to an aspiration, you'll freeze, take the next image, and then this is an image either maybe after an aspiration of a cyst or, uh, or an injection or something along those lines. 4B is the same variation of that except instead of two, you can have four screens. So you can have four separate images on one animal and one person, all different variations of a contraction of a heart maybe, or a flexation of a muscle, biopsies, etc. Uh, another mode that we have is B slash M mode. So here you'll have a heart beating and then this will be the waves that you're measuring on the heart. And then finally of course you have simply just M mode. And that's just pretty much for cardiac functions. So that's the first video that we're going to do. There'll be two others, so stay tuned. We'll see you soon.